guys, this is Amcan Tech, and today I'm going to solve one of your problems. Right now, I have a desktop computer with a mouse and a keyboard, and I also have a laptop, and I have an external mouse, but it's quite small and it's not very handy. There's a program called Synergy, which lets you use the mouse and keyboard from one computer on both of them, but it costs money. Today I found another program called Barrier. It's completely free and it's based on the Synergy open source project. And I'm putting my mouse over there and it goes screen. The Windows sometimes works, sometimes, sometimes doesn't. And I could type, let's say, uh, go to my app unit measure and it opens. So we're jumping into my desktop. I'm going to call this the server or the host because I have the keyboard plugged in. You hop into the GitHub repo, which is basically a project which, which has all the code. If you actually want to go in and see, you could open each folder, each file and take a look inside of it and you could modify it yourself also. You're going to want to go to the releases tab Click V2.3.3, that's the latest release of this video. I'm running Windows 10 on both computers, but it should work on Mac OS and Ubuntu also. On Windows, you'll download the release.exe, save it into your program files, go through the installation. Then I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna have to blur out the IP address and the computer name, but it's pretty much the same. Uh, this is the server, so click server. I did a configure interactively. And then I set up the desktop computer one and the laptop. You need to use the full name. So this will accept the accept the handshake basically. If you don't use it and I made the mistake previously, then it just won't connect. You could have multiple computers. This is very similar to how Synergy looks. You could even change the location. If you want to add another computer, you drop the screen down. Then you name it and you give it an alias and you could uh, change some settings about that specific screen. You could do hotkeys and advanced server settings as well. If you're having an issue connecting, go to show log and then it'll show the issues connecting before it's a discontinued, let's say. And I'm going to open the client one next. Fresh install of Windows on this computer, so I didn't have OBS. So I'll just show you uh, this way. You click on the client, that's your screen name. You could do the server IP, but if it's uh, not a static one, then you could just leave it blank and do auto config, and then it'll find the IP address for you. On the client, you don't need to set up as much, uh, but you could still look in the settings. Let's say elevate privileges as needed, and you can minimize it, change the port, enable SSL, which is always a good thing to have, so it's more secure. Shut off the logging, and if you ever want to stop, you press stop. You press reload after you change settings, and if sometimes, let's see, I believe it shows up in the start, in the startup. It actually doesn't, which is good. So you need to open the program to start up whenever you want to. You can minimize it when you're actually working. And you could also drag and drop files apparently and share a clipboard, which is great. Uh, that's it for this video. Links will be in the description. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you.